Hello, this is Aceto, the Forerunner Pony, and today, also known as FHOC Brony, and yeah, today I'm actually installing side steps on my truck, my Forerunner. I know some of you guys in the Forerunner group that I'm in on Facebook be like, Oh my god, you can't you put your tuck, your side steps out to put new side steps out, oh my god, you just created a sin. Well, uh, I guess you're right, but um... I actually like the looks of this, to be honest with you. They actually look a lot better uh, than the bookshelf side steps that were on this car before. And I'll explain it once I'm done with it. So I'm already done with the passenger side already. Now I'm actually going to be working on the last one, the driver's side. I already done that already. And yes, I can support my weight. And it's not going not going anywhere so today I'm gonna be putting this on my truck uh, the driver's side now uh, this is actually a Christmas gift that my dad gave me so I was like eh, okay that's awesome so uh, it's a bully sidestep and it shows a Ford Raptor um, it says bully on the grill but I know that's a Ford Raptor but yeah there's a Ford F-150 Raptor on there but it actually does say on the box that that I can actually accept a Forerunner from 1984 to 1995. And my Forerunner is a 1995. So, yes, yeah, so this will totally work on it. So, uh, I don't need to read the manual because I already <laughs> done that job already. So, we got this, some hardware, more hardware, blah, blah, blah. And then here is the main... Thing. I'll take it out. So this is what it looks like. So yeah. So um, what I'm going to do is, pardon the buzzing, because my iPad is charging up there, and I have to put the key, leave the key in there. So what I'm actually going to do is, I uh, use a sharpie marker and uh, mark the front of the frame, the seat frame, which is right there down here and measure four and an eighth inch from the right and to the left. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there's the top of the seat frame, the front seat frame, I should say. There's the marking, marks, that mark right there resembles the, the middle, uh, the front of the seat frame. There's one X over there, that's four and an eighth inch. And there's another one over there, which also marks four and an eighth. So what I'm gonna do is, drill a, um, I believe it's a quarter inch, um, I think it's a quarter inch or, uh, but I know it's a small bit. I don't know what size it is, but I know I'll take a look at it um, off camera, but it's a, I use a small drill bit and drill the excess as pilot holes. And then I use a three eighths, I believe this is a three eighths um, drill bit and then drill another hole from that X and that X. Okay, so there's the X's have been drilled with a 3 8 uh, drill bit, which is over there. And I also drilled a 3 8 hole as well with the same drill bit. So I can hook it up like that, as you can see. They might not line up the greatest but uh it will it'll be it'll be in there don't worry so i'm gonna go ahead and put some of the heart put the hardware in and then i'll do the weight test okay so i am finally done with the project um so the side steps are on that that light is not included don't worry that's that has nothing to do with it um i did a little bit of some tweaking and shit like that but all i oops all i did was went underneath the truck and i my initial plan was to install this that's actually some grease that i put in there just to help uh, prevent rust i'll wipe that off once i'm done with this video but basically what i was doing is i was trying to i was originally planning on uh bolting it onto the frame here's this is the frame right here but i later found that that's not gonna work so I did the next best thing, 
And according to what the manual said, you should hook it up around here. Uh, so this, I believe this is a group B, I think. So uh, it looks like it's not on there tight. It looks like the top part is loose, but actually there's a bolt right there. So it's holding it on pretty tight. And then um, it was supposed to use one of those U brackets, but they like, they are very flimsy. Like when I'm trying to bolt these down, it's like, it's already bending the metal. So I used one of these spacers to uh, use that as a, I don't know, an add-on. Same thing with the back and the other three. And for those who are thinking that this is this might break, this thing can actually support the entire weight of my body. So I'm just gonna open the door real quick. And this actually will support my weight, as you can see. I can literally like do this, do a little wiggle, jump. And that thing will not break. That thing will not fall off. Same thing over here in the back. There's my entire weight on it. And it's not going to break off. Same here on the driver's side. It's kind of hard but it's kind of dark here but you know that's my foot right there that you're seeing supporting the entire weight of the vehicle well my body is that can withstand my the weight of myself and most importantly the driver's side so i know what you're thinking for those uh, who are viewing my video and are in the second gen toyota 4runner group in, on Facebook, you might think that I make fun of running boards. I, you've seen those videos of me yelling at forerunners and and talking crap about third gents having their running boards on. Uh, let's just put it this way: I I don't like running boards. That's true, uh, but only the OEM ones because the OEM ones look like bookshelves and they kind of make the car look like a mommy car they look like a car that that your mom will take you your kid to school or something like that this one actually looks a lot better it's sure it's not going to be off-roady because it kind of kind of like takes away ground clearance when you're off-roading but these are actually for my application they actually do look a lot better and also it's a lot beneficial for me when it comes to working underneath the vehicle because with the oem side steps i had to go I have to jack the car up in order to do something so simple like an oil change or I mean you have to lift the vehicle up regardless if you're going to be doing an oil change or or transmission oil change but um, without it I don't really need to actually lift the vehicle up it's much easier if I need to do any simple checkup on it before I because that's what I usually do when before I do my food delivery shift in my truck I always check the the check the fluids, check everything underneath, check all the mechanics for, before I start driving it. I'm very strict when it comes to maintenance on this car. So basically, with the OEM side steps, it was really hard for me to actually crawl underneath. Whereas with this one, even with these on, I accidentally stopped the video, but uh, with the original side steps, yeah, it was really hard for me to get underneath the car. I had to literally crawl. But for this one, even with these on, even when I had the just the side or original side steps removed and didn't put these on, I'm still able to get underneath the car and do any sort of maintenance underneath here, and do any some sort of checkups and stuff like that. So, at least with these right here, is not a whole bar, so it doesn't like protrude all the way across the vehicle. So that's uh, uh, another benefit for this one. So, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick, little, I wouldn't say tour, but a uh, little quick overview on that side steps from Bully. Uh, I got it for, from Christmas. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I can call the night. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed.